Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. It will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys. And that could be any generation with direct fuel injection guys. Any engine, uh, four cylinder or six cylinder engine guys. If you have check engine light on and any of the following five, uh, well, four codes. I'm talking about code P0001, 0002. 0003 or 0004 stay with us we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it guys everything from start to finish now we don't need to remove your engine we have it simply out because we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you guys thousands of thousands of dollars and with the engine being out we can clearly show you where everything is located and teach you how to fix your Kia so as we said that should work on most uh, generation Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys uh, before we start let me tell you every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos guys we take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video now if you guys need to buy any parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so with that being said let's explain okay how we're going to do that now so now before we continue guys many of you have been asking us what computer we recommend for diagnostics here at the shop so that's the one that we use for our daily use that's one of the ones that we use the most i will put the link in the description of the video below it's a great computer that can pay itself off in one time use it works on almost any car you can think of we constantly use it key is right here it's an all system scanner that can pay itself off in one time use so with that being said guys, if you look at your engine, okay, on top of the cylinder here, on a four cylinder engine, you're going to have that device, this is known as a high pressure fuel pump, okay, right here. And that high pressure fuel pump, okay, let me show you, will be installed on top of the cylinder head, on the back side, on a V6 engine will be close to that as well for the Kia Sorento but most four cylinders will be right there for the GDI engine so that guys okay you have the cam follower here but I would recommend when you replace that pump to always replace that cam follower as well we have a special video guys that explains okay that explains actually the okay it goes only one way so uh, be careful okay not to get it sideways we have a special video that explains the proper way guys okay the proper way to disconnect and remove the fuel pump because if you do it wrong you can catch yourself on fire so check out the video how to replace high pressure fuel pump looking at the pump guys you have that device okay right here okay that device there is one wire the purpose of that device guys okay is to measure if okay there is enough volume uh, uh, fuel volume going to the pump so if that sensor is not reading correctly it's not working guys what will happen okay your actually pump will uh, will not work guys your car may not start or if it starts it will have no power so if that sensor goes out most of the times unfortunately uh, uh, you will have to replace the whole fuel pump assembly which is not too expensive and i recommend to get a new cam follower because if it fails your engine can uh, can be locked up guys so uh, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get all the parts but if you have any of these codes most likely that sensor is bad and you need to replace your pump thank you for watching and see you guys next time